Hello, my name is Carl Stutzman and I am the Director of Library Services at Anabaptist Mennonite Biblical Seminary. This is part two of a series of videos that will walk you through the process of writing a paper. In this video, we'll talk about how to evaluate sources for quality and bias. Our goals are for this session are first off to understand types of authority and how these types of authority inform who we listen to in our scholarly conversations. And secondly, to get practical ideas and steps to take to evaluate a particular source's quality, credibility, bias, etc. The word author is part of the word authority. We're looking here at where something comes from. Our definition of authority is why we should listen to a particular person or group. Some of the factors we look for are reputation, professional expertise, academic expertise, personal connections, and indigenous expertise. Different authorities have different reputations and types of expertise. The goal here is to make sure that the reputation and type of expertise are well suited to your project. What you cite for a paper at AMBS might require a different type of authority than what you cited in a college paper. To make all of this a bit more practical, we're going to take a look at some books according to publisher, author, or editor, and age. When we're looking at publishers of books, we can get some helpful clues by knowing where some publishers of theological works fit on an ideological spectrum. For example, if a book is published by Herald Press, it's from a Mennonite perspective. If it's from InterVarsity Press, Eerdmans, Baker, or Zondervan, it's evangelical. There are more publishers we can list here, but a quick tip you can use if you're not familiar with the publisher is to Google them. This may show you some of their other publications and give you an idea of the publisher's perspective. If you have doubts or questions, you should check with a professor or a librarian. When we look at the author or editor, we want to know things like, where do they work? What are their credentials? How do current scholars regard this author? A quick way to learn about an author is once again to put their name into the Google search engine. If you have any doubts or questions, you can also check in with a professor or a librarian. We're going to try this with several books. I'm working from books that I found posted for free on the internet by searching for sources on Anabaptist or Mennonite history. There are some good sources posted for free on the internet but there are also some tricky sources that are dated or unauthoritative. It's helpful if you can find clues to tell you whether a source is trustworthy. I have included some screenshots from the title pages of these books. First off, we have a book called Scripture Baptism Defended and Anabaptist Notions Proved to be Anti-Scriptural Novelties. Obviously, that doesn't sound very good to our ears. Should we believe the author of this book that Anabaptist concepts of baptism are against the Bible? We can tell from the book itself that it was published in 1865 by the Methodist Book Room in Philadelphia. So that's certainly a very dated source. When we Google the author's name, though, John Leventon, we don't come up with much besides some old Methodist sources, including proceedings of the Methodist Episcopal Church, in which Levington was under review for some apparently controversial actions. So we might not want to afford Levington's book much authority on the matter of, of scripture baptism. You probably would not want to use this source at all in an Anabaptist history paper. Here we have another book. This book, History and Renewal in the Anabaptist Mennonite Tradition, was written by Abraham Friesen and published by Bethel College in North Newton, Kansas in 1994. This makes it a more recent source than the last one we saw. Since Bethel College is a Mennonite school, it comes from a Mennonite perspective. Googling Abraham Friesen's name, we learn that he was a university professor in California. This seems like a pretty reputable source, the sort you could use in a paper at AMBS. 